fabulous. You know, I love Berlin. I love films. What could be better than having both of them combined right here? <laughs> Hillary Clinton is in town to present the documentary series Hillary at the Berlinale, one of the main highlights of the 70th edition of the festival. Hillary is a portrait of the former First Lady of the United States, New York Senator and Secretary of State, interweaving exclusive interviews with footage from the 2016 presidential campaign and biographical chapters of her life. I spoke to Nanette Burstein, the American director of Hillary, to find out more. I took a class called Political and Civil Rights, and I saw Hillary sitting there. And I don't know, there was just something, she had a certain aura about her. I thought, boy, there's somebody who's special. I knew nothing about her. Nanette Bustin, it's such a pleasure to have you in our show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It's an important film. Was it your choice from the start to have such a, a long film, four hours, or did you decide it once you have shot everything? I knew from the start that it would be four hours, I mean, give or take, because there was so much story that was important to include. I, I felt that in order to unpack this woman's life and everything that she has meant to people and has actually done and the complications of her that you needed the time and the scope and the breath to be able to do it. So, you know, on the one hand, it's it's nice to be able to make just a feature length film and show it in a cinema. But I knew that, that it would not be possible to, to show the scope of her life by doing that. Did you lead all those interviews? including with Bill Clinton and yes, Barack? Yes, yes, I did all of the interviews in the film. I did uh, 35 hours with Secretary Clinton. I did three days with former President Bill Clinton, uh, all of her uh, friends and colleagues and uh, journalists. And yes, I did every single interview. One day I was up in the library and he was watching me and I could tell he was watching me. And she closed her law book, walked all the way to where I was standing. And I said, if you're gonna keep looking at me and I'm gonna keep looking back, we ought to know each other's names. I'm Hillary Rodham, who are you? Who do you think Hillary Clinton is? I think she is very committed to social justice, who is very smart, um, who's had to worry about being on the public stage and being judged six ways till Tuesday. I don't think she's as complicated as people have made her out to be. Was she ever controlling on your film? Or did you have the final cut? Or you as a director, as a filmmaker, did you have the freedom you need to make your film? I had complete editorial control. Uh, there was no questions that were off the table to ask. Um, it was quite the opposite of being controlling that her reputation has. I mean, she just let me make the film uh, and did not try to insert herself in the process in any way. People are already using the term nails in coffin. I think it all just came in. Yeah. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold on. Joyce, what do you know? Uh, isn't that great? Wait, shh. Wait, wait. Do you think it's a, the, the film is a way for her to reassert her own legacy or using you to assert her legacy? Well, it's an interesting uh, process making this film because it wasn't meant to be a biography of any kind or a legacy generating film. That was my idea, actually. We were just supposed to make a film about the election using this behind the scenes footage. And I felt that it would be far more compelling to tell the complications of her life story and really unpack this notion, okay, here's a woman who is both, you know, admired to the point where it's not real who she is, you know, put on this pedestal, and on the opposite spectrum, vilified to the point where people think she's, you know, a criminal or a murderer. And between these two opposite extremes exists a real person. I remember we did a bus tour trying to promote, quote, Hillary Care. There were just so many protesters and hecklers.
Do you think politics is sometimes like fiction or theater? Well, politics has always been like theater. Now it's even more theatrical and fictional because there's so much on social media that's not true. There's so many conspiracy theories about every candidate. We have, you know, foreigners uh, intervening in our election and posting fake stories. So yes, I think it's hard for people to even know what the truth is in our American political system. I definitely felt the weight of the responsibility taking on this project. This was someone who really affected history over the last 50 years and has been misunderstood, as I said, both you know, in hagiography and vilification. So I, I did always feel the weight of the responsibility, like how do you get this right? And it won't ever be right for everyone. I do think it's a really important story and I really tried my hardest to get it right. Nanette, thank you very much. Thank you. I wish you the best of luck for the film and enjoy your time in Berlin. Thank you, I will.